Hi everybody, it's Ellen Jaffe Jones and welcome to Real Estate News You Can Use. What I wanted to talk about is how um, you can, somebody posted yesterday, I posted some pictures from the last race I did at Emerson Point in the Bradenton, Florida area and people said, oh my gosh, finally pictures without beaches. And there, it made me realize there's so many things you can do and see that don't involve beaches in Florida. But what I wanted to show you just as we kind of sort of segue out to the backyard is that, you know, where I'm living is actually a two bedroom house, which by all means and accommodations would seem like it's pretty small. But what a lot of homes in Florida do is they enclose, and I hope you can see this behind me, the lanai or the porch as we call them up north. And you can see this like spans almost the whole, dis well about half the distance of the house. So there are two office desks and we even have room for a little picnic table when the weather is inclement and we still feel like um, we want to bring the outdoors inside. And so just sort of behind me, this is the view that you would get from the picnic table. And we're going to go take a look at what's out here because, you know, if you're willing to sacrifice location by the beach, you can get some amazing deals. And I've been showing property and I guess I should say, you know, just sort of identify, uh, yeah, I'm a realtor with Realty One Group Skyline in Sarasota. Um, so you can get some amazing deals if you're willing to go away from the beach. And just look what's behind me here. We've got this huge lake and it's so peaceful. It's about noon. Well, obviously, um, real estate news you can use, but just listen to how quiet it is. And that's something I really value, especially coming from the north. I grew up uh, in a home that was just very quiet and I've traveled a lot and I've stayed in places where people put motorcycles against windows like in Europe uh, and it's like how do people sleep through this stuff but um, this just gives you an idea of the kind of backyard you can have when you're willing to come indoors uh, or, or away from the beach and of course I just got a little distracted by Misty cat there Misty the rescue cat who is in heaven in this backyard she spent the first um, well, the first three months uh, before I got her, um, it trapped in a cage at a vet's office because uh, an employee abandoned her there and, and they were trying to find a home for her. And I just walked in one day to get some food for a dog and um, I came up with a cat as these things kind of happen. But so you can see the kinds of things that you can do in a backyard. Uh, you don't have to have a lot of property and you just are able to save so much money by doing this. All right, but you can see there's room for a hammock. Uh, there is a fire pit. There are a lot of fire pits um, actually in backyards that are off the coast uh, where you have this kind of space and um, the trees are not too close together here. So, and of course uh, an outdoor table. I know uh, some of my friends from St. Louis went to all kinds of expense and trouble to enclose their dining areas so that they had um, a place to eat that felt like they were in the outdoors. And so I think it's really cool to see kind of um, what you can do for, again, not a lot of money. And you save so much money by being here in Florida where you don't have to buy winter clothes. And as you can see, today is not a cloud in the sky kind of day. And that really reflects on the water that's here, the lakes, and it's just um, really nice. We're gonna walk over now to one of my favorite uh, love-hate kinds of plants in Florida, the bougainvillea. And in almost every city in Florida, you'll find a street named bougainvillea. And they're memorable because the, the blooms are just so intense and gorgeous, and they come in a variety of colors. But the other thing about them, as you might be able to see, is they've got some pretty, we're gonna test this new camera on the new iPhone 12 Pro Plus. Uh, it's got some thorns. And you know, if you're ever cutting these things, you wanna be sure that you are well protected and uh, just be careful with it. So, uh, but again, a really gorgeous, uh, privacy hedging kind of bush. It likes to climb and so it does well along fences here. But uh, one of the things I also just wanted to mention as I kind of headlined is um, I will be leaving shortly after this to head to a closing on a house that is um, it's about a 90 minute drive south of here and it's um, it's closing for one over a million dollars, actually. Uh, it doesn't mean I get a huge chunk of that at all, but it is um, 
suffice it to say in real estate we do a ton of work a ton of work that never gets paid for like yesterday i showed um, a house that's um, pretty close to being in foreclosure to a couple and they knew or they were told what it was going to be like and it's the kind of house you would buy as an investment it's a total wreck they would definitely qualify to be on uh the show the hoarders and i mean when you open a bedroom it's just like everything falls out at you and so if you're not prepared for that if you don't understand that that is the kind of house that is really an investment and you're gonna to have to come in and do the cleanup yourself then you know it's really appalling to people when they see it uh, as certainly as a TV consumer reporter I've seen it all I know that there are some pretty desperate situations out there and people especially as they've gone through COVID and and the kinds of things that have played out in personal lives here it's really kind of tragic but um, and, and yet in this particular case um, it, it was just a really how do I say this um, you know the mortgage wasn't being paid for a very very long time so people were living there free and you know that's not right either um, as the rest of us kind of work to uh, make a living and support ourselves so I showed this house to the couple point being is like they saw it and they just like how far how fast can we run away from this and you know you try and work with them and see if there's something else they might be interested in but if you have questions comments or concerns I'm always uh, here to try and answer them for you and um, you know help you figure out a place in paradise that maybe would be of your liking and if you go to Ellen Cell Sarasota you can hang out there and um, set up your own search as to what you like for price location all that kind of thing um, and if you want a backyard with no HOA because sometimes condos don't like animals or don't want animals although they are getting better and better about them. So think about what you'd like in your backyard. I mean, during these COVID times, it really does um, give us pause to think about what's important in life. What do we want to be doing? Where do we want to be? Who do we want to be quarantined with? Have a great new year. Let's hope that 2021 is a whole lot better than the wild insanities of 2020. And I hope it's an awesome new year. A happy and healthy one, everyone.